What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam? It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of motherfucking tarot. Aquarius in the motherfucking building. All right, Aquarius, while I'm shuffling, we're going to do your tax season read. This means, are they here for the money or are they here for love? This is what we're going to look at for you today. Are they here for that tax money or are they here for love, okay? Um, while I'm shuffling, I'm going to let you guys know that I do not reach out to you guys first. There's a lot of people cloning my motherfucking pages on all social media sites. So be very leery about anyone in your inbox talking about their divine moon goddess and they want to give you a reading. I do not reach out to anybody for readings, okay? All my information on how to reach me is in the description box. That means you contact me. I have a website for booking. Whew. All right, Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's see. Are they here for your money? Or is it that tax hunt? Or is it love? Is it love? Could this be love? There's a song, I kind of feel like Eddie Murphy sang that song on some TV show or movie. Maybe it was a movie. Now, I am already seeing some past shit coming up, okay? You guys got love. You got the king and queen of cups here, okay? So there's definitely love between you. This person is bringing an offer. I think you're closed off though. <laughs> or it could be vice versa where you're the one offering to them and they're a little closed off and they're a little hesitant. Because somebody was a little player before, all right? Somebody was playing some games. Somebody was in and out. Um, somebody was hot and cold. Um, but I will tell you, this is strong Sag on both of these cards. This person did not know who they were. Um, this person, as you see, is very bruised and battered. This person had been through a lot. This isn't just your normal, I'm a player and I'm in and out, you know, because I want to be a player. This is more energy, um, of I've been bruised, I've been hurt, and I don't really know how to be. I don't really know how to be more than what I am, which is closed off and runs. This is what this card is. This is what this energy is. I do feel like this conversation is here, and I feel like this person had to go back and forth to even reach out to you in the beginning. I feel like this person had to grow some balls, actually, to reach out to you, okay? They had to grow some balls to reach out, and they had to really speak their truth, and it was just to basically say, like, damn, I either really miss you, I really love you. As I see, there's a true love offer here on the table. But somebody's standoffish, okay? Let's look into this and get a little bit more um, information. I feel like there's a lot of love between both of you. I just feel like um, somebody is, is not really, like, mm, I don't know. Like, should I give in to this person? Should I really be vulnerable? And yes, I'm feeling that you should. But let's look into this a little bit more. Um, there might be an age gap also or immaturity or maturity or age difference in emotions. Like you could be very mature in your emotions and the other person not or vice versa. Okay. Aquarius. I got to remember who the fuck am I reading? <laughs> Oh yeah, they're not giving me another card on that. Okay, so yeah, it's basically that. Like one person is a little bit more mature in their energy when it comes to emotions, but there's a valid energy, um, a valid offer on the table of love. This is a lot of love, okay? This is someone trying to be romantic, trying to open up their heart. Um, yeah, they're guarded as fuck still, but they're still at that point where they're trying to offer that, okay? Um, now, when it comes to this, see, yeah, this is about the past. This is the past energy. That person couldn't give you that partnership. They couldn't give you that long-term Hierophon in the reverse. They couldn't offer that to you because they were still working through their shit. They were still working through their energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles in the reverse. This person didn't know how to give you this. This person didn't know how to be that person for you. They most likely didn't or weren't shown that from their people either. Like they're probably have some childhood issues um, that they needed to uh, work through, okay? Let's see what this conversation is. High Priestess, you already know. High Priestess popping out is, uh, you already know Aquarius. You know what this person wants. You know that they don't want just um, sex. Sun card, High Priestess motherfucking popping out, okay? You know that this person is not just here for money. This person is not here for your tax check. 
this person actually um, loves you. The sun card, okay? This sun card is the best card in the motherfucking deck. You can't do no better. Out of 78 cards, you got the sun card. This person does see abundance and they see a future with you. Um, this is a deep soul connection also with this high priestess and the sun card. So there's a lot to this situation that you don't know. Um, and there's a lot that hasn't been said. I do feel like there's a lot that's going to be coming out for both of you. Um, but you have to open yourself up and get back into that vulnerable state. Some of you guys are scared because of the past. Don't be scared of the past. And some of you has nothing to do with this person. Um, it has to do with your past and you're kind of taking it out on this new person is here because for some of you guys, this is new. Um, not all of you guys is this past. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. I'm going with, they're not here for the money. They are here for you and you are the honey. Mm. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, how to reach me is in the description box. Um, I'm going to send you guys my love and my light, my light, my love until next time. Bye.